cranking problems can be a point of frustration, but fixing them doesn't have to be. Follow these steps to quickly identify and correct your cranking problem. The first step is to identify the symptoms. With a cranking system, symptoms are divided into one of three possible troubleshooting categories. Click, no crank, no click, no crank, and slow crank. With click, no crank, the solenoid clicks but the starter doesn't crank. In no click, no crank, the solenoid doesn't click and the starter doesn't crank. And finally, with the slow crank, the starter will crank, however the engine RPM is slow to start the vehicle. Once you've identified which problem you're dealing with, then you can start to remedy it. For each issue, the initial troubleshooting is the same. You start with the batteries. Make sure the batteries are fully charged, and then perform a load test on the battery bank. If the load test fails, then individually test each battery and replace any faulty ones. Once batteries pass, then perform a voltage drop test on the starter main cables. The starter voltage drop should be less than half a volt drop on cranking circuit. This is an important step and is often the cause of a slow cranking complaint. Yet voltage drop is also a leading cause of click or no click complaints because almost every vehicle manufacturer uses the heavy positive post located on the starter solenoid as a place to pick up the current used to supply the control circuit. To learn how to perform a voltage drop test, check out our voltage drop test video on YouTube. Until now, the diagnostic path has remained the same regardless of the complaint. Now is where you address the specific issue. Remember, for the starter to be cranking, the control circuit would have to be working. So, if battery and cable checks are within specification and the vehicle still cranks slowly, then it's a slow cranking problem and it's time to replace the starter. For click, no crank issues, check the control circuit. If the starter does not contain an integrated magnetic switch or IMS, then a voltage drop test will need to be performed on the vehicle control circuit. If the starter does have an IMS switch function, then the technician will have to verify that the vehicle's control circuit is providing voltage to the starter IMS. Just like the slow cranking complaint, if all systems have been checked and the starter is found to be the cause, the ring gear should also be inspected for damage that could cause future starter damage. For no click, no crank, you should check the vehicle's ignition control circuit for faulty wiring, fuses, relays, or control modules. And, of course, our support team is always available to troubleshoot with you. You can contact the Technical Support Center by calling the number on the screen or visiting us online.